At least 69 people are feared dead and dozens more missing after Typhoon Mankit battered Hong Kong, parts of China and the Philippines. Bus, ferry and rail services were suspended and almost 900 flights were cancelled at Hong Kong's airport, one of the world's busiest. Residents were told to stay away from the coastline and be on alert for gales. Hospitals had to use backup power due to outages caused by the storm, according to the South China Morning Post. Police said the latest death toll was 69, with 43 people missing and 64 injured. Deadly typhoon heads for Hong Kong Chinese authorities reported four deaths from falling trees and building materials in Guangdong, China's manufacturing hub. Blown out windows of a commercial building are seen a day after Typhoon Mankat hit Hong Kong. AFP, Getty Images, Typhoon Mankat weakened to a tropical storm as it moved deeper into southern China today, leaving a trail of death and destruction. The storm was still affecting southern China's coast in the provinces of Guangdong, Guangxi and Hainan and rain and strong winds were expected to continue through Tuesday. An office building's windows damaged by Typhoon Mankit in Hong Kong, AP, it also battered parts of the Philippines. Deadly Typhoon Mankit batters Philippines Many of the missing in the Philippines are gold miners and their families feared buried in a landslide after seeking shelter in a bunkhouse turned chapel in a village in Banggit province. Hong Kong, China and the Philippines were all badly hit by the storm as of Monday morning Mankit was on track to pass over the Gongxi regional capital of Nanning and move toward the border with tourism powerhouse Yunnan province. The Hong Kong Observatory reported Mankit was the most powerful cyclone to hit the city since 1979, packing maximum sustained gusts of 121 miles per hour. Prepare for the worst, Hong Kong Security Minister John Lee Koch urged residents. Collapsed bamboo scaffolding is seen hanging from a building during Super Typhoon Mankat in Hong Kong. AFP, Getty Images, that morning followed Manku's devastating march through the northern Philippines on Saturday with sustained winds of 127 miles per hour. Landslides caused by the pounding storm hit two villages in Itagon Town in the mountain province of Benguet. Itagon Mayor Victoria Palangdon said that at the height of the typhoon's onslaught on Saturday afternoon, dozens of people, mostly minors and their families, rushed into an old three-story building in the village of Ucab. A man carries a woman to safety through floodwater, Getty Images the building, a former mining bunkhouse that had been transformed into a chapel, was obliterated when part of a mountain slope collapsed. Three villagers who managed to escape told authorities what happened. They thought they were really safe there, the mayor said on Sunday. A man and a girl walk against strong winds from Typhoon Mankit, AP. The rescue work halted for the night before resuming on Monday morning. Men used pikes and shovels to dig into the mud since the soaked ground was unstable and limited the use of heavy equipment on site. Mankit also shattered glass windows on commercial skyscrapers, felled trees, tore scaffolding off buildings under construction and flooded some areas of Hong Kong with waist-high waters, according to the South China Morning Post. Casinos on Macau were ordered closed for the first time due to the typhoon. Reporting by agencies more about China, Hong Kong, 